Hello, and welcome to our second to last day in the book of Acts. And so we're going to look at verses 20 through 25. Uh, Paul has invited members of the Jewish community uh, to the place where he's under house arrest and has a uh, soldier, you know, watching him, living with him, I believe. Uh, and so they come over, and here we have uh, basically what Paul is saying to him. He's already told them a little bit. He's told them, look, I'm not against my people. I'm not against Israel. I'm not against Israel's uh, customs. Uh, I, I'm not anti-Israel at all. Um, he says, I'm, I'm only here because I was in a pickle. Uh, there was a plot, in so many words, there was a plot against me. I was going to die. It was a plot by certain Jews in Judea. And so, you know, I had to, I had to play the, the Caesar card or I would have been in deep dookie. And so, verse 20, therefore, on account of this cause, for this reason, uh, I encouraged you uh, to see you. Uh, I, I, I wanted to see you because I want you, I want you to get my uh, version of the story. Uh, I want to get ahead of this thing. For this cause, I called you. This is uh, Sigma Alpha, so it's Aorist, right? There's the augment, parakaleo, Aorist active indicative, first singular uh, from parakaleo. For this cause, therefore, uh, on account of this, the cause, I uh, urge to see you. This is the infinitive of horao, to see. It's Aorist because the id, video, to see, to see you, and... Uh, to speak to you. Sigma Alpha tells me this is Arist. Uh, alpha Yoda, infinitive, Arist, active infinitive, and to speak to you. For, for because of the hope of Israel, I am set about with this chain. So Paul's basically saying, I'm a Jew. It's because it, I'm, I'm an Israelite, at least. I believe in the hope of Israel that Israel will have a Messiah, and that the Messiah, in fact, has come, and that the Messiah is Jesus. That's why I'm in chains, not because I'm against Israel, but indeed because I am a true believer in Israel. I'm a true Jew, as it were, not a, not a fake Jew. <laughs> he doesn't say this. He may be thinking it. So this is a preposition because of the hope of Israel. Uh, I am set about. I am surrounded by this chain. Uh, this is a present uh, deponent, I think, uh, peri kemi, uh, indicative, first singular. Verse 21, and they to him said, so we have uh, a use of hoi as they when it's before men or de. Uh, so normally it's the, but here it's they. Uh, said, this is aping an aorist, uh, peer pressure. Why do all the other aorists get alphas? I want an al alpha. So a second aorist uh, does the variation with an alpha. So it's aorist active indicative third plural. And they said to him, quote, direct discourse, we neither letters concerning you received uh, from Judea. Here, this is Judea. It's not from the Jew. It's from, from the Judea. Um, actually, it would be Eudaios if it was a Jew. Uh, C is the key to hidden sigma, hidden sigma alpha. This is Eris, sigma alpha is Eris. Um, yes, so Eris, middle. Decomai, uh, deponent, uh, indicative, first plural, uh, we received. Uh, neither letters nor, nor did someone, having arrived of the brothers, of the Jewish brothers, uh, announced or spoke something concerning you evil, uh, something evil concerning you. Uh, having arrived, again, tells me this is Arist of Ginomai, Paraginomai, uh, oh my, it's deponent, so it's aorist, middle deponent, participle, um, nominative masculine singular, from paraginomai. Nor, having arrived, someone of the brothers uh, announced or spoke, these are both aorist indicative, aorist active indicative, sen, hopefully a long time ago in our journey through Acts, you memorize sen as an aorist active indicative, third singular ending. Uh, this is from laleo, it's augmented because it's aorist indicative. Uh, this is uh, uh, apangelo, to announce. It's been augmented. The angelo became ang, and then the uh, internal lengthening, epsilon, went to epsilon iota, and because it left the present stem, we've lost a lambda. But again, the epsilon nu tells you the same thing, that this is a past tense, third-person singular, 
active indicative. Okay, uh, uh, he announced and or spoke something evil concerning you. You're good, you know. Uh, they could be feigning, it could be lying, of course. Uh, verse 22, but we deem it worthy from you to hear the things you are thinking. Oxyao. Uh, so this is a present active indicative first plural from oxyao. Uh, uh, to hear. Sigma alpha, aorist, alpha iota, infinitive in this case. Uh, don't confuse the alpha iota that's an infinitive with the alpha iota that is a feminine nominative plural. Uh, things that, neuter plural alpha, bingo, um, neuter plural alpha, uh, the things that, it is a, re this is the relative pronoun, rough breathing mark and an accent, uh, the things which, or the things that, I have to come up with the things because uh, there's no antecedent to this, I have to come up with it, uh, the, it's, this is the, the which, or the, the that, um, and so I need things that, things which, you are thinking, present active indicative. Uh, for, on the one hand, concerning the sect this, concerning this sect, it is known to us that everywhere it is spoken against. And I talked in the podcast about, of course they know, because 12, or 12 years earlier, 12 or 13 years earlier, the Jewish Christians were kicked out of Rome uh, because of, of, of uh, contention over Jesus. The issue of Jesus is nothing new uh, to the to Rome. In fact, um, I'm going to talk, I think, on Saturday in the patron video on my sense, my reconstruction of the church at Rome, and I will also, of course, thereby uh, talk about its relations to the Jewish community at Rome. Okay, so, um, so certainly they know about it. Uh, verse 23, and uh, having arranged for him a day, uh, they... Uh, came to him uh, into the lodging, um, uh, a, a lot of people, more, a lot of people. Okay, um, so C is the key to a hidden sigma. Sigma alpha, aorist. Uh, men are passive or middle participles. Uh, this is tasso, I think. Uh, so it would be middle, um, having arranged, um, aorist, middle, Participle, nominative, masculine, plural from Tasso. I'm pretty sure it's Tasso. Um, let me do a quick look here. Tasso, Tasso, Tasso it is. Okay, um, this is interesting. In my podcast, I, I, uh, while I was doing the podcast, I realized that this is not what is read. So I have several Greek New Testaments here. Um, so I have, I have a, a red New Testament, um, and I have a a blue New Testament, and the text is has been coordinated in these. So, if you have the right editions of the red and the blue, um, they should read the same. And in fact, they do uh, here. Both of them have Aelthon here, Aelthon instead of Hakon. Aelthon is the aorist of Urkami. It means they came. By the way, Hakon is from Hako, which means to come too. You know, so so it's the same basic meaning, but. Um, uh, it's interesting that the Greek text that I've been using for these podcasts is the uh, Society of Biblical Literature Greek text uh, that, uh, and I don't, I have that Bible too somewhere at my other office, I think. Um, but um, it's interesting that they decided to go with Hakon um, instead of Elthon. It's interesting for one reason. So the Red Bible is the Aland, the Aland text. The Blue Bible is the Nestle text. They're all the same now, Nestle, Aland, we say, uh, because they've been merged uh, to be the same Greek text. Um, but what's interesting, at the, at the bottom of this, uh, there is what's called an apparatus that tells you uh, the different manuscripts uh, for different readings that are in the manuscripts. And this particular variation in the manuscripts isn't even mentioned in the Red Bible. And so thankfully, I had my Blue Bible, the Nestle text, um, which gives a whole lot more um, man, manuscript evidence at the bottom, um, and I was able to find this variation. And what it basically says is, is that the majority text, uh, and apparently P74, a papyrus manuscript, and Codex Sinaiticus, and Codex Vaticanus, uh, which are two very important um, uh, Greek manuscripts, um, uh, 
Vaticanus was found in the Vatican one day. Oh, we found a very old manuscript in the Vatican. Uh, dates from the early 300s. Um, and, and Sinaiticus also, which was discovered in Egypt, uh, also dates from the early 300s. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, no, actually, I'm wrong. That's really weird. Um, those manuscripts read, read Aelthon here. So the old manuscripts read Aelthon. The majority text uh, and uh, a random um, uh, Unshul manuscript read Akon, Hakon. So I don't know why they've gone with Hakon here. The manuscript evidence is really bad uh, for it. What's up with that? I'm sure there's a story, but for some reason, uh, the SBL New Testament people went with a, okay, yeah, it's probably not important to you, uh, but very curious. Never mind. Okay, so uh, having arranged for him a, a day, uh, they came to him unto the lodging, more people, more people, um, to whom, relative pronoun, he put out or he put forth, this is ex tithemi, that's uh, uh, imperfect. Uh, because the tit is there. So it's the present stem with an augment that is the imperfect. So he was expounding to them, witnessing the kingdom of God. This is present, dia martu reo, present middle uh, participle. Expounding, uh, might be dia martu uh, romai, yes, it's deponent. Um, expounding the kingdom of God and persuading them concerning Jesus, both from the law of Moses and the prophets. That's the, that's the Old Testament. From early until uh, evening. By the way, good evening today in Greek is kalispera. So it's interesting, um, espera. It's not a frequent uh, word in the New Testament. But okay, so Paul is expounding the scriptures, the law of the prophets, showing about Jesus and witnessing to the kingdom uh, of God. Okay, final verses for today. And some, so we have what's called a correlative situation. We have hoi men, hoi de. Um, some, others, is the way that kind of plays out. And some, on the one hand, were being persuaded by the things being said, but others were disbelieving. So this is uh, patho, to persuade. So it is imperfect, because it's the present stem with an augment. Uh, and this ending is passive. So it's uh, present, or, I'm sorry, imperfect, passive, indicative, third plural. They were being persuaded. Uh, some were being persuaded by the things being said. This is a present, passive participle, um, um, neuter, uh, things being said. But others were disbelieving. This is apisteo, uh, imperfect also. Uh, verse 25, and being out of sympathy, uh, being out of di in discord, a symphony, symphony, a symphony sounds together, right? Uh, it's it's a together sound, but this is a symphony. This is not a together sound, uh, but others being out of harmony uh, with one another, uh, they left, they they departed, they divorced, uh, they apoluoed. Um, this is the imperfect of it. Um, they were releasing themselves. So probably imperfect middle uh, indicative third plural from Apolluo. Um, uh, Paul saying, Paul after, so this is probably a temporal participle, after Paul had said one word. So Paul says one word before you leave, um, which is not a word word, but a word as in a sentence. Well, maybe, maybe more than one sentence. And this is it, quote, direct discourse. Well, did the Holy Spirit, did the Spirit holy, uh, well spoke uh, the Holy Spirit uh, through Isaiah the prophet to our fathers. And I'm going to leave you hanging there. Tomorrow we'll find out what he quotes from Isaiah, and we will we'll finish up uh, the book of Acts. Is there anything I haven't analyzed? This is an aorist active indicative uh, there. This is a er aping an aorist, aorist active participle. My aunt is an active participle. Okay, genitive absolute, noun in the genitive, participle in the genitive, present participle. Okay, there you have it. And tomorrow we will finish, Lord willing, the book of Acts.